Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Many of you are asking for important questions in microwave and antenna subject with the code 21 EC62. In the VTU website itself, you can find these two question papers, uh, model question paper 1 and model question paper 2. They have given in the single PDF. You can see this is the link you can go through and get these question papers. So, using this model question paper itself, you can find which are all the important questions here and it will be easy for your preparation of examination. So, let us quickly look into module wise questions and let us find some very important questions over here. So, in module 1, explain bulk transferred electron effect in semiconductor material is asked for 6 marks and then with the neat diagram explain typical microwave system. This can be asked and assume the wave equation and its solution derive the expression for voltage and current at any point on the transmission line. So this is a very important question here you can mark this as very important. And one problem will be there in module 1 for sure. Here transmission line has following parameters and they ask you to calculate the characteristic impedance, attenuation constant, phase constant and wavelength velocity of uh, wave propagation. So this is the very important problem we can say and this kind of problem will be there in your exam also. And you can see the characteristic of Smith chart is asked and gun diode question will be there for sure. This is also a very important concept. So derivation for the expression of voltage and current uh, at any point on the transmission line is important here and the one problem will be there and then this gun diode is very very important. So if you see the model paper 2 here also uh, gun effect and gun diode is asked derive the expression for voltage and current is asked you can see here in the second question and one problem is asked here using smith chart and coming to the choice question reflection coefficient and they derive the equation for reflection coefficient and then again a problem uh, it is a similar kind of problem you can see propagation constant attenuation constant you need to be find out phase constant and characteristic impedance so this is the problem you are not supposed to skip you need to prepare for this this kind of question will be there for sure in exam and also the derivation for the voltage and current for a transmission line is also very important and also gun diode is very very important if you prepare for this much you can at least write for 10 to 15 marks easily discuss the characteristics of magic t is asked over here then let us look at the module 2 questions quickly module 2 will be having uh, theory kind of questions so here you can easily get more marks so you need to prepare for the complete module 2 so that you can uh, write the theory questions there is no problem over here so that impedance and admittance metrics are symmetrical for a reciprocal junction this is also important different types of attenuators is asked here and derive the s matrix relation for e plane is asked and then list the characteristics of magic t this is also an important question um, when all the ports are terminated with matched load and then also derive the expression for S matrix for a magic T and then explain with neat sketch construction and working of four port circulator uh, and the next question is S matrix representation for multi-port network. These are the questions from module 2 uh, in paper 1, model paper 1. So coming to model paper 2, you can see again derive the expression for S matrix representation of a multi-port network and here also it is there in module uh, model paper 1 model paper 2 also there explain symmetrical z and y matrix for reciprocal network discuss the properties of s matrix and then what are attenuators explain the principal working of precision time variable attenuator so attenuator questions will be there like this only different types of attenuators they may ask or principal working of uh, variable attenuator can be asked with neat diagram explain the construction working of application and application of isolator is asked and coupling what is coupling and isolation factors in microstrip directional coupler so completely it is a theory question you need to understand the uh, different types here and you need to uh, write the theory part more to get the full marks then comes to module 3 if you see module 3 again here uh, here it consists of 8 to 10 marks problem. So this is a problem uh, here in model paper 1 and also model paper 2 will be having problem. So module, module 3 will be 
uh, covering at least one problem in your question and one problem will be there on uh, antenna also you can see you may get question over here yeah here it is a antenna question is there here also antenna question is there so the other theory question you can expect is define the following terms related to antenna so this is again a theory question you can easily understand and easily write this kind of question repeatedly asked in examinations so here also you can see uh, the beam area radiation intensity beam efficiency directivity is asked and determine the directivity of a system if the radiation intensity is this is asked here if you see describe ohmic skin losses radiation losses in microstrip uh, lines and derive the characteristic impedance of microstrip lines is asked coming to the antenna part here here again the briefly exp uh, explain or discuss microstrip lines and its losses there are the expression for quality factor is asked this problem is on antenna to find the power delivered to the receiver and here is again the problem uh, to calculate the directivity of the source pattern so here also the maximum power received we need to calculate this is a problem on antenna so one problem will be there for sure you can also uh, easily prepare for this problem and then obtain a near or far fields of a given antenna and compare the fields so this is what from module coming to module 4 let us see module 4 questions in model paper 1 state and explain power theorem and its applications to an isotropic source is asked and obtain the field pattern for two point source situated symmetrically so this pro this question is also asked uh, in the previous exams and then distinguish between end fire array and broadside array derive an expression derive an array factor expression in case of linear array of an isotropic point source of equal amplitude and spacing this is also asked and the derive the expression for radiation resistance of short dipole uniform with uniform current starting from electric and magnetic potential obtain the far field components for a short dipole so these are very very important questions and derivations uh, even if you see previous question papers you can find these questions you are not supposed to skip any of these and coming to the second paper here explain power theorem is asked and obtain field expressions of two isotropic point sources at same amplitude and phase and prove that directivity of a source of unidirectional pattern uh, is asked and derive the expression for again radiation resistance of a short electric dipole derive the array factor expression of in case of linear array of n isotropic point sources of equal amplitude and spacing derive the expression for calculating the bandwidth of given antenna so all the questions are important here but uh, these derivations if you uh, concentrate at least one or two derivations you will get for sure in your examinations from this and coming to the last module module 5 here also you can uh, score easily you can easily expect this yagyuda antenna it is again repeatedly asked many times in antenna this question is asked and also far field expressions derivation for a small loop antenna is also asked and here is the problem to find the E plane, H plane, beam width and directivity and then derive the radiation resistance of loop antenna and generalize the results for the circular loop of any radius is asked. Briefly explain helical antenna with its helical geometry. So different types of antennas if you study at least one or two questions will come on explanation of that particular antenna and its, uh, and its structure and explain different types of horn antennas you can see here so horn antenna helical antenna and aguda antenna and uh, these are very very important concepts and different types of antennas you need to study and then there are the far field expression for small loop antenna again this is very very important you can see here also explain the constructional details of the following antenna so as i said so these kind of questions they ask in theory part for sure and what is the approximate directivity of a rectangular horn antenna whose physical aperture is this there are the expression for radiation resistance of loop antenna here also it is there so these questions you are not supposed to skip it is repeatedly asked in previous exams and also given in the model question paper again helical antenna geometry is asked here aperture of a dipole antenna so this is what the model question paper questions are here very very important questions given. we are not supposed to uh, miss those important questions 
your reflection. So these two model question papers itself is sufficient to treat it as very very important questions for your preparation. So all the best for your exam. Thank you.